hello guys in illustrator we have compound paths and compound shapes okay so it is uh, important to understand the difference between them and we'll try to explore what is a compound path and a compound shape okay so if you're able to see in object menu you have compound path feature compound path is basically used to punch holes in the objects okay so i go to the object menu we have compound path and i use this option called make and it just gives me a hole in in it and uh, when if i if i just wanted to edit it okay so i can use this direct selection tool okay and then move it so i'll choose the group selection tool and then just move it anywhere i wanted so the whole idea is to punch holes in it but let's say if you want to make uh, more complex or versatile options to be applied on this you should avoid using this tool from here which is basically available here you should use the pathfinder panel okay you can go to window and then bring this pathfinder and you get it here so you have uh, four different options here so if i'm using this options also the resultant object can be considered as a compound path okay so let me select these two objects and i'm going to use this first feature called unite okay and if you see a bubble has been popped up if you use alt to create a compound shape okay if you can generally let's say there are two ways to create these objects okay one is you just normally click it here okay once you have done that you could see there is only one path which is basically created here there is no in between paths coming in the center so when you are just clicking it it's a compound path okay but if you hold alt and click it okay just hold alt and click it and what you should able to see is i'll just go to the outline view you should able to see that circles which are overlapped the the paths which are overlapped are not deleted okay just i need to hold alt if i don't hold alt okay and if i just see the outline there is nothing inside okay so normal if if in uh, if i just select it normally just click it like that it's a compound path if i hold alt and click it it's a compound shape okay that's the difference nothing more than that so if i just select the other feature which is minus okay minus front is the option if you could see okay so whatever is there in the front is minus let's say if i move it back okay and then apply it so it does the opposite of what it has been done because the front object is gone whatever object is there in the front okay that will be minus then we have this one again whenever you are doing this make sure that which color is applied to the final product is also a thing we should keep it eye on we have another thing which is intersect okay and it give it keeps a common object here and again if i just hold alt you should able to see in the outlines the both shapes are still there and uh, the object is intersected we have this feature here which is basically exclude which is removing the common part between these two intersected objects okay let's try to see uh, the options which are there below in the pathfinder so i'm going to select these two objects here and use the first option called divide okay now what happened is the object has been split into parts i'm going to use the group selection tool and then you could able to see that has been split with the divide tool again i as i told you you can use shape builder also okay and now we have another option uh, beside to that which is trim okay 
when i did the trim you should able to see the line which is in the center has gone okay and then if i move this object i'm using the group selection tool and then move it you should able to see it okay now i'm going to select uh, and try the third option which is merge again if i select the group selection you should able to see this now the problem is like uh, i am uh, i don't see much difference in the trim and the merge here it's giving me the same result so what i need to do is uh to better understand it i'm going to um change the color of these two objects same okay so these are uh, two same ob uh, colored objects and i'm going to use the trim okay so trim basically does not merge this it keeps a separation there it, it you could see there's a cut now the area which was there behind it was deleted okay so you can check it out that part was deleted but if i use merge okay now that has you know combined that part uh it only works when both objects color is same okay that's very important again you have this uh, crop which is basically keeping the common area and we have the outline feature which is basically making the two objects outline colored okay so again you need not use this tool for this purpose i believe because directly you, you switch off the fill and it you get it um and actually it became one piece of object that's one thing you could see it here okay and we have this minus which is basically minusing the object again uh i'll just move this object to the back and try it and then you should able to see the opposite thing happening here so these are all options you have in the pathfinder and uh, whenever you have this work done let's say if you have done minus or you have done um intersection okay whatever you have done you can go here to the quick actions and then you can use this option called um, offset okay so you can increase the offset path okay <coughs> excuse me you can also try to recolor it okay you can change the color of the object you wanted and you, you can also arrange things you can send things to back or uh, backward or uh, bring it front uh, based on uh, in a complex uh, illustration you may feel or believe that this shape to go back and front it will generally do that okay so these are a few options which you can explore on quick action side and then uh, we have some more thing to know about uh, that is uh, as you could see here these two are different objects every time to apply this features i'm selecting these two objects and i'm, I'm applying it rather you can select these two objects and group it press control g and it becomes one piece of object okay now once you have grouped it go to the effect and you have this option called path finder and then you have all that options which we have explored here which is intersect or you have uh, effects like uh, trim all that can be done okay so i'm going to select this and then change the color to green and you could see the effect pathfinder hard mix which is generally okay i need to group it first group it select that effect pathfinder hard mix it generally try to blend these two colors here that's uh, what it generally does and we have uh, mm, trap option it works uh, when you are having gaps in this compound shapes and you need to fix it then you can generally use it uh, other than that uh, all the features on the top are generally listed here but it works for a group of object okay that's important